Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Today we are doing a post review on Dreamer Designs. Um, my first impression, um, you can um, check the eye and see what my first impression was during the unboxing of this. Um, however, while working with this diamond painting, I realized that their drill quality is not as good as I thought it was when I first started. Um, I did not run out of colors, uh, and I will show a closer, um, a closer reveal of that. Um, I did, however, run into tabs on, tabs and trash. I wanted to show the amount of trash that I had, which I feel like it's kind of a lot for a 30 by 30. Um... And these are uh, some of the pieces. I think I um, accidentally um, dropped some or whatever, but this is my trash for this painting. Um, it has some, let's see. It has some twins in here, or what I call twins when the two are stuck together. Um, okay, I can't pick that up for some reason. Anyway, um, so this is my full boat with all the trash in it from this painting. And it has um, twins, it has tabs. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can tabbing issues, misshapen, um, stuff like that. So, um, there are a couple pieces in there that I, um, had to remove for, um, you know, like it was in the wrong spot or something, but very little of that. Most of this trash it has tabs or um, is misshapen or can cave at the bottom um, like I said though that's like for me that was a lot of trash but as far as the quality of the diamond painting I think that um, it was a good quality um, it is very sturdy Another thing that I like about it is you can run your hand across the whole entire thing and you can feel that all of the drills are uniform. Um, the ones that I, you know, obviously use. Um, and usually, you should all usually always feel that, like you should be able to run your hand across it and it should always feel, you know, like they're all the same. But if you have um, poor drill quality, you may not get that. Um, and then also, um, I think personally that their drill field is way too bright. Like sometimes I can look and think that the area is already done, like it already has drills on it because it's so bright that I cannot even tell that it's missing a space because the the drill field is so bright um I feel like the material that they use I mean it's a good material sturdy wise but this size is printed great but when you micro size it to these little tiny drill sizes it they blur um like the I don't know if the ink just absorbs when they print on it, but 
Um, I feel like once it gets to a certain size that this kind of material doesn't accept the, the quality print on it. I would definitely say these one this these colors that have that are light that are green and orange that have this white background are way too light to have this white white symbol in them. They really they really need a dark symbol in them. Um and I don't know why they don't do that for most of these. Like, most of these you, like, even even this one, this purple one with the white, it's too light. Like, you should just put, I mean, this one would be too dark because it's purple, like a dark purple. This light purple, I mean, even this light purple has a black triangle in it. So why didn't you put a black Y or upside down Y or whatever the heck that symbol is. Like, why didn't you put black on that one? These darker colors, you know, they, they're they okay to see. Like this, these symbols were okay to see. Um, that one was hard to see. This one was hard to see. Pretty much anything that had a lighter background because even orange was really light on there with the white. So I had a, even a hard time with the white one. So I feel like if I had to give any constructive criticism to Dreamer Designs, I would say um, definitely tone like m like more muted colors so that it's so that the, the symbols stand out more. Um, some of the symbols that they used that that they use it when when you get to a certain size you can't even tell that they are um those symbols um so i felt like because of the brightness of the of the canvas i felt like the diamond painting was yelling at me quite often like, it's just so bright that it's just so, I felt like it was just like, blam, like yelling at me while I'm, while I was doing it. Um, so, and I couldn't even get close, really close up to the symbols, um, while, while filming. So that made it really that much harder to be able to really see some of the differences in um, these symbols. So, um, and I shouldn't have to be like right on the diamond painting. Um, I am satisfied with this diamond painting. I actually took the swan out of it because I'm not, I was not a big fan of swans. It didn't go with the themes of my rooms, etc. So I actually took this one out of it um, and just made more water shape down here. Um, the um, the artist is amazing, and like I said, it's nothing to do with with the art. It's just. I love this tree and I want the focus of it being this tree, not of a swan sitting in the pond. So, um, I love the AB diamond touch to it. I, I, th this is my first dreamer design. This is my first, um, canvas that I purchased from them. This is also my first, um, canvas with AB diamonds that came with the kit to to use um which was fun i all in all think that um dreamer designs is good in my opinion they are expensive for having um popping drill or tabbed um drills 
It took me longer to do this diamond painting because I had to keep checking all of the drills to make sure they did not have tabs on them, to make sure that they were not concave, to make sure that they were not misshapen when I placed them on here. Because if I put any of those drills on here, then my diamonds would be popping up. I wouldn't be able to do this or whatnot. As you guys know, I, I started to flip this over when I first started the canvas. Um, you'll see that in my time lapse, but I don't like flipping them over because then I feel like it changes where I place the diamonds and then I end up with gaps, doing them in all different directions. So that I'm not very fond of. Uh, but anyway, uh, all in all, I think it's a I think it's a good company. I probably would purchase again um maybe uh something that is um on sale or something like that but honestly for the amount of money that it costs for a regular because this was a trial canvas so for a regular canvas which is like really big I don't know that I would be very happy with popping the the tab drill so that would probably make me like second guess whether I would buy a full-size dreamer design or not also one of the defects that I pointed out while I was doing my unboxing was this edge on this side did not get the same treatment as this side or you know like the rest of the sides they these sides are all scalloped and this side is nothing but you know what is crazy this side isn't fraying but every other side has fraying issues like that and that so um well this side isn't too bad i mean it's got a little thing down here um but the fraying isn't too bad on this side either, but it's definitely, um, it, I mean, I don't see any fraying on this side, even though it's not scalloped and sewn or whatever they do to it. Um, so all in all, I think it turned out really well, but you know, I, I didn't pay very much for the trial size version of this painting. So now had I spent like 40 to $50, I'd probably be pretty upset, um, having to pick through all the drills and do the tabbing. I mean, I was pretty frustrated with it as it was, um, uh, while doing it because of how much trash I was getting out of it. And I mean, that was just the amount of trash I seen. I did not go through each bag and pull out all of the trash. So there's still, you know, there's still gems in here that are probably tabbed and, you know, like messed up. Yeah, I can see one right there. So there are still some trash in here if I ever need to use these for whatever reason um and yes i do use my stash um quite often because if i run out now i did not run out of any colors like i said like i stated on these but um and i even used some of the extra to fill in um where this one where i took this one out uh so I feel like I definitely had plenty of gems and then I'm going to, my husband is going to go to the store and he is going to buy me a frame for this and we're going to put it in a frame. 30 by 30 centimeters is a 12 by 12 inch frame. So yeah. Each bag does have plenty of drills left, even with all of the excess trash. Um, I was not even close, I don't think. 
I'm running out of any colors. Um, some of them had very little on the diamond painting to begin with, so. And since I kitted it up the way I did, all I have to do is just put these in their slot number and they are done. So it's always nice. All right, so that is my review for Dreamer Designs. Um, would I buy again? Maybe. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.